are still in court. The Supreme Court has struck out an appeal filed by Mr. Great Ogboru, the DPP candidate in the 2011 Delta State governorship election, challenging the victory of Governor Emmanuel Oduah. The seven-man panel of the Apex Court, led by Justice Walter Onorene, also ruled that it lacked the jurisdiction to decide on the validity of sections of the Constitution on which it based its judgment, saying such an appeal should go to the High Court and not the Apex Court. The Supreme Court had on three occasions dismissed the suit for failure to complete the hearing within the 60-day time frame stipulated by the Constitution. Less than one year to the end of the administration of Governor Emmanuel Nutua, his main opponent in the 2011 general election, Mr. Great Ogboru, filed a fresh application seeking to quash his election. Represented by Professor Dixon Oswala, Mr. Ogboru argued that Section 258 of the Constitution, which enabled the court to strike out his suit, was not validly enacted, a position that was rejected by the Apex Court, which for the fourth time struck out the suit. The panel led by Justice Walter Nogana says the suit amounts to a gross abuse of court processes and an affront to the entire judicial system. And as far as I am concerned, if a law is invalid and unconstitutional, no, no benefit can accrue from it. I think the ruling captures the pace and agony of very vicious applications that are always coming to the Supreme Court on an issues that have been litigated upon over and over. This is the fourth or fifth time we are coming here for this same matter. Reacting to the ruling, the Delta State Government says the judgment will serve as a deterrent to lawyers who are in the habit of filing frivolous cases before the court. It is the judiciary that the man is attacking and they've made it clear today and you can see the type of course awarded tells all the story that don't ever come here again. We have never seen where this type of course was awarded. Two million naira to each, not the entire process. So the man has a bank and he should pay it himself. I think that is novel. We've long expected this, having regard to the antecedent of this uh, matter. Uh, certainly all lawyers and all courts gather against an abuse. And this is indeed an abuse in the extreme. And we hope and believe that the lawyer or the, the appellant will not come back to repeat this abuse as directed and ordered by the court. Besides awarding two million to each of the respondents in this case, the court also warned that this should be the last time this case comes before it, as there must be an end to litigation. Amaka Okafo, Channel.